made it to the Friday before the Friday of your mother's birthday. Or I mean FF7 remake. In one week, in, in the next, in the following Friday, we're going to be in a world of Zawarudo that Final Fantasy VII Remake will be out. But in the middle of yesterday's stream, something pretty significant happened, and that's the uh, a launch trailer. So we're going to talk about that. In the current day, at the current time, in the current year, at the current moment, Final Fantasy VII Remake is just over six days away. I have received a staggering amount, and I even mentioned it last night, an absolutely staggering amount of messages of people either saying that they have the game, that they're giving me impressions of the game, that they're telling me either it's good or bad, or talking about stuff that's been recently in a trailer. So, I'm here to officially say, as I've said it, I I've been trying to communicate this, but not everyone gets to see it, and it's gonna have to be put into a video form just because it's how this shit works. I am not reacting or watching to the latest Final Fantasy VII trailer. Um, I've seen on YouTube that it's like four minutes long. It's a big trailer, and it is, it, it is an official trailer, it is official media, but a lot of my stances on FF7 have changed a lot ever since the game has become like worldwide and people have been streaming it a week early and all this shit has been happening, right? I'm just doing my best just to stay off stuff. And I've done a, a pretty good job so far. Um, so all things considered, I know a lot of people are going to go out of their way to spoil shit. I know a lot of people have been mentioning that this trailer has a lot of stuff in it. And even... I specifically saw the last trailer before this one, which felt like it was it was released right around the uh, the the demo, and even that trailer felt like, all right. I think I've seen a bit too much of what's going on. And LOL, can't spoil a 23 year old game, but you can spoil a brand new version of a 23 year old game. That definitely can happen. And if and if that's what's happening in this marketing material, the crazy thing is that if you think about it from Square's perspective when they're making these things. This trailer, uh, spoilers are only, are only relevant if you have context, right? If you have context in your head, if you've played original FF7, you know what happens to the characters and you know what the events happen, or if things are happening differently in a trailer, your context is fucking with you. And now you've completely regretted that you've seen that and that that surprise is going to be completely lost on you in the game. But, FF7 Remake is going to be appealing to a lot of people that have never played the original game. So, all things considered, I see where they're coming from. They want to show all the exciting, cool, dramatic elements of the game, and I don't know what they are because I didn't watch the latest trailer, but that's specifically why I'm not. There was one moment that happened that I, that I described yesterday. There was one moment that happened when we were watching the behind-the-scenes videos for FF7 Remake, and I think it was part one. We went on to watch part two and three, but there was like... There wasn't a ton of stuff to talk about. It was just more stuff that we already know about the game. It was just cool to see the devs be really excited. They show uh, lower plate life a little bit more in in one of those videos. And there's specifically a moment where they show you walking around um, Sector 7, I think it is. I think it's Sector 7 at night. And when you look up into the sky, you don't see this. You don't see the sky. You see the upper plate. And it was one of those moments where I... In my head, I've never thought of that, right? When they're in the lower plate, all they see is that goddamn fucking pizza up there. And to the perspective of the player, it looks visually amazing, but the coolest part about it that blew my mind was that it looked like stars. That the upper plate didn't just look like this big thing, this big pizza that's covering the top of the sky and you shake your hand at it. It looked like the night sky from, from the lower plate. And the way they designed that, because they showed this big panning shot, I was like, fuck, dude, that's really cool. That's actually awesome. Wow. Uh, I wish I didn't see this. <laughs> like, there was there was that moment, because I, I immediately put myself into the situation of us playing the game when it's out, and we reach Sector 7 at night, and I look up and I see uh, what the upper plate looks like, the technologically advanced upper plate. And I was just like, you know what, I never thought of that before, and now... And now I saw it in a brief snippet, and it was really cool, but coming across that in actual gameplay... ...is something that I was like, fuck, alright, that was a bad idea. That was a bad idea. We watched the other behind-the-scenes stuff, but there wasn't a lot of other... I, I feel like they took footage away in some of those behind-the-scenes videos. 
because they had a lot of repeating footage of stuff that we've already really seen. I appreciate that, but man, they go ham on these trailers apparently, and I'm just going to stay away from this one. Uh, so many people have said to stay away from it that I'm just going to stay away from it. Uh, and it's taking a lot. Like, it's you got to realize I'm not doing this to, to piss people off because I know a lot of people want to see my reaction to things, and I'm excited to see it too. And a lot of people just want to see what I feel about FF7, and I get it. I'm super lucky to be in this position, but I have to refrain. I have to I have to have an element of self-awareness and control. I'm not going to watch it because I think it is going to compromise what I feel in the game. So that's my stance on watching any more official Square Enix videos, right, from what they're doing. The other thing is impressions, and I've been holding off on impressions and stuff like that. Uh, trying to keep it away from my chat room on Twitch, much less anywhere else. I just don't want people to be talking about like, oh, it showed up in this crazy, the part where Barrett shoots a dog in the head and the dog turns into a space baby and Sephiroth abducts the space baby. And then Sephiroth did the space baby make new space babies. Like, I don't, people just can't control themselves. People just cannot, people just can't control themselves when it comes to uh, stuff that they're excited about. And I get it, cause I'm like, I was there. Like I was there playing this game uh, back in January, and I just just fucking frothing to tell people about chapter two and then the stuff that happens in chapter seven. Just fucking fuming to explain this shit. I wanted to do it so bad. So I could sympathize with people. They want to they want to they want to they want to they scream to the heavens about how cool or whatever the fuck is going on. Right. But that's my job. <laughs> like, right. It's actually like Square brought me out to get these impressions and to talk about it. And it's my job to tell you how I actually feel. If the game was shit trash, dirty shit trash, I would have been severely disappointed and I would have talked about my disappointment with what I saw, but I wasn't. I was genuinely super excited. So I got to communicate that in those videos of me playing the demo and uh, talking about chapter two and whatnot. So I don't blame people for staying away from it. However, when it comes to impressions now, people showing up and be like, did you see the game got a six out of 10? The game's getting twos out of 10. Oh God, the Metacritic's down to a four. I, I, I want to, mm, I want to keep that shit away. The Metacritic's at 17, I don't know how. I'm doing my best to stay away from any of that. I don't want to know reviews. I don't want to know impressions. I don't know what people feel about any part of the game right now, the the, ex the existing game. Because if, if I know that the Metacritic's out of 75, oh God, out of uh, 900, that's immediately going to compromise my impression of what the game is. Like, and that's why when it comes to movies, I kind of stop watching trailers and reading reviews. I stay away from it. I don't want to know what people think about it. I don't want to know because if I, I take people's opinion into my head and I can't just ignore what I heard people saying about this when I'm playing it. I can't. I cannot. So when I'm experiencing it, I don't know if what I'm experiencing is based on what people I've heard talk about it or if it's me just naturally thinking of that because that's what somebody said. It's weird, like no matter what, you're, you're compromised, right? Your, your mindset is compromised and there's, I, I'm not gonna be able to stop this, right? I'm working my ass off for no reason, trying to avoid spoilers and all this stuff. I'm, I, I am actively, what I'm doing is a frugal effort, but I have to fucking try, and right? I have to do my best to, to make sure that I haven't been completely fucking compromised by the time the game comes out, because I've already seen a bunch of shit, right? I already saw a bunch of shit when the first leaks came out back in January or so. So, long story short, my, my message to everyone is that you just please keep discussions of the game, impressions, reviews of the remake out of the chat, oh, oh, uh, away from other people. Maybe people don't want to know, especially story things. I've even changed a lot of the way I feel about story elements in FF7 original because a lot of people haven't experienced the original game. And if I was like, this was mostly me when I was playing FF7 original, right? We were actually playing the classic game together. We were talking about story moments and stuff like that, but this was like eight months ago. We were doing that shit. Now uh, my, my, my opinions are a bit different. I don't want to talk about what happens to characters. I don't want to talk about story specific events or what happens, you know, in big plot moments of uh, FF7's beginning part of the story. I just don't, I don't want to discuss it anymore. So I'm just going to wait. There's no reason for me to talk about big plot moments. There's no reason for me to try to spoil things from the original game. LOL, 23-year-old game, I get it. But for the sake of anyone that is new to FF7, that wants to try to play it, that might be surprised by some of the shit that happens in Midgar, which is a profound amount of shit. There's a lot of big events 
that happened in the first six hours of original FF7 that are now going to be expanded to whoever knows how the fuck long. The diorama is closed. I'm just going to hold off. So my, my apologies to everyone that's in here wanting to get my reactions to things that have happened in trailers, things that are in the original game. I'm just going to do my best just to hold off. And uh, the game comes out in six days, two hours, 25 minutes, and 42 seconds. Officially. So I'm just going to wait for that. And I'm going to hope my self-control holds out.